Good morning. I have to say, it is good coffee for a hotel room. Only Starbucks downstairs. So what I want to talk about today is deciding on how I want my day to come to fruition. I It's 5.30 in the morning here. I've kind of been up since 3.30 in Las Vegas time. And it's still dark outside. And I feel like the whole hotel is sleeping, but it's Las Vegas, so that's probably not true. And I wanted to talk about today deciding what my day was going to be like. I have a lot of freedom here. I feel like my activities, I can plan them. I can plan what I want to eat. I feel so happy to be away. My flight yesterday was perfect and I got to see two great movies and met nice people sitting next to me because of course I have to read their trees since I'm in the neighborhood. I met new interesting people. I met old friends that I haven't seen in a long time. A lot of people watched my coffee time. It was a very happy moment. It was 99 degrees at 9 p.m. last night when it was midnight for me. It was really hot. Good morning. Good morning, Tina. So what I wanted to focus on and what I focused on in my journal this morning is what if it all worked out? What if life all worked out? What if all my dreams came true? What would that be like for me? And I decided that yesterday everything worked out. The Uber came on time. I made my plane. I went to the lounge for a little while. I watched two good movies. I got here. It all worked out. But in the morning, I was in my regular... Um, anxious mode about all the things ahead of me. And then I read something about focusing on what if it all worked out. And I switched my mindset to everything's going to work out. Everything's going to be fine. Just take a deep breath. And it did. Because in life, everything really does work out. Maybe not the way you thought it was going to work out, but life really works out. The first movie I watched yesterday was called The Saints, and it's about a minister that goes to a church that the, that the higher-ups are closing and how he saves the church. But it didn't end up the way he thought it was going to be. But in the end, he embraced mm -hmm. the way it worked out. And I think that's what's really important. Life works out, and what we need to do is get in the right mindset to embrace the way it works out. And to, in the moment, enjoy every moment. And since yesterday, the whole day, I took my expectations and made them more flexible. I took my expectations that I may not meet these people, but I'll meet other people. That I might not eat this, that I'll eat that that everything is going to work out. And I lived my whole day like that. And it was amazing. And I would have, I thought that I was gonna sleep today until eight o'clock Las Vegas time, but I woke up at 3.30 New York time because my body got confused. And instead of just trying and forcing myself to go back to sleep, I couldn't do that. I just embraced the moment and I had a great morning routine. I read, I talked to my daughter, I drank my first cup of coffee, I planned my schedule for today, I planned out everything I wanted to happen today, and I came into today with the mindset of everything's going to work out. I'm excited about having coffee time with a lot of different people from all over for the rest of the weekend, so there'll be a lot of coffee times at different times, a lot of decaf versions, a lot of me calling it coffee time when I'm really drinking a Bud Light. But I think that what I really wanna to say today is decide, just decide that if everything works out, how are you gonna feel and capture that feeling? Let that be your feeling. Remember, your feelings don't define you, but they, they filter your experiences. 
and decide what feelings you want to have. Like there are days where I'm, I'm not in a good mood and I forget that it doesn't define me. It's a feeling. It comes and goes. But if I think about what feeling I really want to have, this feeling of contentment, this feeling of peace, this feeling of learning, excitement, awe, I'm in Las Vegas. Yesterday, I they have a pajama party here and I wasn't prepared with pajamas. And so I went to the gift store and I bought myself a tiara. And I thought to myself, that's what, that's what I wanna do. I wanna be a queen. I wanna pretend that I'm a queen. And I think that pretending is the first step. You know, they say fake it till you make it, whatever. The bottom line is, let's pretend with our emotions too. Let's bring out the emotions that we want. Let's focus on those emotions and remember that your feelings don't define you. They're not who you are. You are who you are. You're that wonderful, special, amazing person. And if you decide that you're gonna be defined by your feelings, you're missing out. So let's think of what emotions we wanna to feel today. It's Friday. We have a weekend ahead of us. We have the whole day to make it amazing. So make today amazing, because you can do it. If I could do it, you can do it. If I could, like, I remember to bring creamer with me to make my coffee great for today. I'm so glad I woke up because whenever I have coffee time with you, I just love it. I really, really love it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Have a really great weekend and pick the best emotions that the best emotions that you can and let those feelings be in the moment and enjoy every single one of them right now because you can decide. Bye.